Today I'm going to cover how to set up MSU1 audio for use on an SD to SNES flashcard and SNES 9X on PC. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is head over to romhacking.net and this is where we're going to find all of our MSU1 audio patches. So for today we're going to actually do Super Mario Kart. But if you want to find more audio hacks, just go to ROM hacks, choose Super Nintendo, and select sound as your modification down here. So once you click on that, you can just click on OK, and it'll bring up a bunch of different sound modifications, and MSU1 files will be labeled as such. So you can choose the game of your choice. The process is the same for all of them. And as you can see, there are quite a few MSU1 patches out there now. They are only continue to grow, and for the most part, they're really good. Some of them kind of sound wonky, but I mean, you can actually make your own sound files, so if you're skilled at that, that is an option for you. But once you find the patch you want, just go ahead and click on the download link. It's gonna ask you to do this crazy uh, human verification thing. Just copy paste it and click download. And once it's finished, go ahead and get that extracted and open up the folder that you get, and you'll see a nice big readme file. So go ahead and open that up. And here are your download links to the MSU1 audio tracks for use on the emulator or flashcard, depending on what you decide to use. So go ahead and copy that. Um, go ahead and paste it into your web browser and get that sucker downloaded. Some of the download links are broken on some of these patches, so just be aware of that. But once you get that downloaded, once again, just go ahead and extract it and you'll have your folder full of PCM audio files. Now, before we are able to use this on SD to SNES or an emulator, we do need to patch our ROM file with an IPS patcher. So if you already have one, you don't need to worry about that. But if you don't, go ahead and click on the Utilities tab over back in uh, romhacking.net and choose your operating system. And then under Category, choose Utilities, or Patching, I mean, and click Go. And you'll see a bunch of different things with descriptions telling you what they do. So find the one that will apply IPS patches easily for your OS choice. For me, I am using floating IPS. It works well. It's very lightweight and minimal. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So once you got that ready to go, go ahead and open it up. And you just click on apply patch. Go ahead and find the directory where you have your Mario Kart. Well, your MSU1 audio hack you want to apply. Go ahead and click on it. Then you need to go to the directory where your ROM file is stored. And then it'll ask you how you want to save the new ROM file. So just go ahead and leave that as its default right now. And go ahead and close out when finished. So now we're going to go ahead and rename the file. We could have done this in the step prior, but I just really didn't think about it when I filmed this. So just go ahead and delete everything that comes after MSU. Um, I realize I forgot to do that in this step as well, so I took care of it right now. But you need to have the file name of your ROM match up to the same file name as all of the other files in this folder. So as you can see, it's smk-msu.sfc. And now it is time to test. Ah, yeah, glorious. So now that I've confirmed the ROM with the audio patch is working, I go ahead and transfer it over to my SD card for use on SD to SNES. And let's go ahead and test that out as well. And yes, everything is working flawlessly on a real Super Nintendo, just like it did in the emulator. The MSU1 audio chip is just a really cool thing to mess around with, because not only will it let you use CD quality audio, some games have even been patched to have cutscenes, like this example of Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Link! We are done for the day! Let's head home! Alright, Uncle!
And there you have it, MSU1 audio running on both real hardware and emulator. So thank you so much again for watching these tutorials. If you have any questions, always leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub box over there. Make sure you get notifications of all my new releases. And as always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for supporting me, supporting this channel. We will see you all back next video.